Hi everybody, Ko here with a very early thoughts video on Lords of the Fallen, the reboot. Uh, we played the original Lords of the Fallen when it came out and it was okay. It was a Souls-like game that was uh, kind of, it kind of had its own things, but it really didn't do much to differentiate itself. Combat was a little clunky. The world was all right. Story was kind of there. It was one of those games where it's like you've played everything else and you love Souls-likes, so you would play the original Lords of the Fallen and it was, it was okay. A lot of people didn't like it. I thought it was all right. Okay. Now, however, there is the Lords of the Fallen reboot. It is essentially a Souls-like of the same name, but this one, to put it bluntly, is a lot better. It has a lot more of its own flavor. Um, it has some very interesting weapon mechanics. There's lots of different kind of standard classes, but they all kind of work in the game world. The combat feels weighty, a little clunky, um, which is okay for Souls-like. It doesn't need to be like a Ninja Gaiden. It's got that kind of like weightiness to it, which is nice. The world is beautiful. The music when it's there has been pretty good. Been enjoying that as well. The characters are fully voice acted. The voice acting's a little hit and miss, as is the sound design. But I mean, we are talking about like a double A, not a triple A. So that's a little bit easier to, to swallow, so to speak. But the short of it is, I'm really digging it. Lords of the Fallen reboot is pretty slick. Uh, I've been playing a spear user first, played a, a, the fire mage character. It was okay, but I kind of find magic and souls likes borings anyway. Tried the rogue. It was hard as they actually warn you when selecting the character. And we're still planning on trying a strength character and the radiance caster because you actually get some bonuses with the radiance stat that lets you see more about items, which I'm interested in. But yeah, Lords of the Fallen reboot so far has been pretty freaking cool. And it uh, comes out in a week and I'm definitely planning on doing a large exploratory playthrough of it to see everything it has to offer. So yeah, hope you enjoy it too. I do want to mention at the end of this video though, that there are some hit and miss performance issues. My performance has been okay, but it's those kind of weird situations where the game will probably be running at like 120 FPS for most of the time, but then you'll turn the camera real quick and it'll hitch a little bit, or you'll come out into an open area and it'll kind of stutter for a second. So most of the time performance has been fine, but there are definitely some little kinks that they need to work out. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this thoughts video. We'll be making a more thorough one when I actually get to play the full game. And I uh, hope this helps you get a little peek into what we're thinking. See you at twitch.tv slash co-carnage. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.